In this video, we're going to walk you through good tops and trend trades. You'll notice that both of our charts have termination conditions at Fibonacci resistance. Um, because we do have a strong trigger line configuration into our 13.2 chart, which you'll see we put an arrow in right here, um, traditionally that's going to cause a bounce up. Uh, so what we're going to wait for is after the bounce back up, which we'll shorten the sequence here just a little bit, and the market retests the large triggers on the 13.2 chart. That's the point at which we're going to uh, analyze the market, the strength of our triggers, and we're going to decide whether we're going to take a trend trade short. For this purpose, we're going to wait for a strong top condition, which you'll see here as two lower Fibonacci's on divergences on our 13.2 chart. And at that point, Order with strong triggers, we'll follow our trend trade rules. And we'll simply place a limit order on our chart at resistance inside of the large triggers on the 5-1 chart. Remembering that if the resistance moves down, you also may have to move your orders down. And what I'm highlighting here is the window of opportunity between the mid bands and yellow one-to-one -one dots. Stretch that a little bit. And this is the window at which you want to place your limit order and go short as the market's going up into order the filled. window. And whenever you have a strong top, um, the first thing you're going to do is obviously set your profit targets. Um, stops, you can pretty much leave alone after a strong top with strong triggers. Um, and again, I say leave the stop alone because the market could make it to the yellow one-to-ones and then go back down. And we don't want to be stopped out after a uh, small pivot stop out after a strong top. So we're going to shorten the length of this just to kind of speed up the process. Uh, and you'll see as the market trades down and we reach our first profit target, at this point you can move your stop to break even. Um, obviously with strength, we usually make it to a Fibonacci target. Um, and you can see we have a pivot stop out on our 13.2 chart. And what you'll notice is the same thing that happened at the top. If you have a double divergence pivot stop out on your small chart, in addition to your large chart, the market will traditionally bounce back up and you'll need to wait for Fibonacci support to break to take your next trades.